can you believe that some of Trump's White House staff is now w- was saying that the election wasn't stolen? Did you see that? I didn't see that part. I'm sorry. Do, do you think that those people should be in Trump's circle anymore at all? People that well, say the election was not stolen? They're being paid from someone. You think so? Absolutely. Who, who do you think is paying Ivanka Trump to say the, the election isn't stolen? Ivanka Trump said that the election wasn't stolen. Well, she's no longer really part of Trump. You just saw it in real time. Somebody act exasperatedly dismayed, shocked, confused that Ivanka Trump could possibly not buy into her father's complete bull conspiracy theory that the election was stolen. Well, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I mean, I did vote for Trump. I've, I've never really voted before. Um, to me, it was like always watching WWF wrestling. They pump up this guy, and then he's supposed to win. They pump up that guy. That guy's supposed to win. It's like theatrics in play every single time. And I don't care what side it is. They all just go blah, 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 and do whatever it is that they're going to do. So you voted in the last election. Do you accept the results of the last election? <sighs> you know... Unfortunately, I'm probably one of those election deniers that the people talk about. But I also wear red, white, and blue, which, according to some people, makes me a... As far as the election goes, yeah, I don't think that the election was done fair and square. I've been watching a lot of information from a lot of people, factual information. Dr. Frank's a great source of information. He's, he started in the beginning pure on accident, kind of like I started my journey on accident. I didn't come out here to try to find all the stuff that I found out. It's just kind of happened as I've gone along. And I mean, what, what, what do I think? What do I know? I mean, gosh, if I talk long enough, just about anybody could think I'm absolutely crazy. My vote was stolen. Okay. May I? Uh, Okay. Okay. All right. So I will. When I woke up, okay, after voting, after watching the numbers and I woke up at five o'clock on November the fourth okay when i woke up and i saw those numbers change the way they did in my state of pennsylvania and across this nation to the point where they had excuses where they had no reason no reason in my mind okay the when i went to sleep that evening at 1 o'clock i knew who that president was when i was going to wake up that's not what happened my vote was stolen the democrats and republicans both have some real wrongdoers. I'll agree to that. Okay. I have voted both sides. I voted for uh, Barack Obama twice and I felt duped. Okay. And I know I will never vote Democrat again in my life ever. Okay. And I take that to the bank. Okay. They'll never change. Their color is, has been written. The, The communist party has now taken hold of them and they are directing them. And people have got to wise up and they need to do their research and they need to understand that the the truth, the real truth is out there. Let's talk about President Biden. How you feel about the 2020 election? Do you think he is the legally elected president? He's not my president. <laughs> Explain that to me. He's he's not. He, he's illegal. Um, it's uh, shadow government. He's not my president. Uh, you know, I, I find that compelling uh, for obvious reasons what what about like so what's the shadow government and how is is he not your president because he wasn't legally elected or because you didn't want him to be president he wasn't legally elected how did he get elected he didn't he got selected and who did who did the selecting the swamp but what about the votes The, the votes that were you know that he had more votes how did that matter yeah that mattered it was done illegally. And did you feel that in Pennsylvania? Yeah. In what way? The 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 ballots, the the you know the the um, in the middle of the night, you know, all that. So you think that meant that he didn't really win because something happened in the middle of the night? Yeah, what do you think? The fact that anybody still thinks the 2020 election was stolen, it's embarrassing. It's wildly embarrassing. But that definitely doesn't stop them. A little embarrassment never stopped a Trump supporter from anything, and you do have to hand them that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. They keep saying it because in the middle of the night I went to bed and I woke up and the vote totals were different. When I went to sleep that evening, I knew who that president was when I was going to wake up. 
That's not what happened. You mean like how in every election they keep counting vote totals just because you're tired doesn't mean that the vote counting stops? Do you really think that the world shuts off when you go to sleep? I wouldn't be surprised if that's what most Trump supporters believe. When I go to sleep, the world shuts off, right? It's an entirely me-centric world, and it's all in my head, and the world is my dream. So when I wake up, it all kicks back up again, like taking your computer out of sleep mode. But I'd just, I'd just like to go on the record and say that's not what happens, just for the record. And so now, because Trump just making up that mail-in voting was full of fraud, Biden won by a lot of votes in the last election. And they're running against each other again for some strange reason because our system is totally broken. And he realizes now that he has to get those votes, but can't admit he's wrong, but yet needs people to now mail in vote. So he's flipping on it. And of course, in tow, all of Fox News is doing the same. <laughs> Primetime is going to keep covering voter fraud and sloppy elections until every real vote is counted and every stuffer is behind bars. If you have a tip, text us, hashtag fraud. Republicans need to fight fire with fire. Legally, of course. The only way to win is beating Democrats at their mail-in game. Here's Tommy Lahren shouting about stuff, but actually making a good point. She likes to shout. You gotta win elections, and you've gotta win electioneering. Early yep. voting, mail-in voting, voter registration, those things are gonna be important. It's not enough just to have a better candidate anymore. She's making a good point. If the Republicans do want to win, they have to win at electioneering, which means you can't just make up some bad crazy conspiracy theory and therefore don't encourage a big chunk of your people that can't physically come to the ballot box or don't want to to vote because then you lose the election of course outside of the pandemic mail-in voting and absentee voting and early voting doesn't skew in favor of one party or the other it just skews in favor of whoever pushes it and skews against those who are argue vehemently against it just for the record para el recuerdo and republicans in red states like florida and arizona have been pushing mail-in voting for years of course before 2020 before trump decided it was a bad thing one of the things he just riffed and then kept repeating and it's also because they have older populations there also important side fact trump usually mail-in votes and of course if it wasn't for how deep in the sauce these people were they would see the obvious disconnect they can't see the disconnect because they've become automatons that simply repeat whatever their great leader tell them to repeat and if he flips on a dime they gotta flip on a dime and at the end of the day you're just sharing one dime that you keep flipping 10 cents does not a livelihood make i'm ben glebe for rebel hq you can follow me at ben glebe on x instagram or like wherever i don't care